Vispois. Chairman, the freelancer community of coaches and instructors in the fields of sports, fitness, learning, visual and performing arts are an important part of Singapore's economy. As an advisor to the NTUC affiliate, the National Instructors and Coaches Association, I seek MOM's attention to uplift this group of freelancers for their better job and income security and well-being. One, fair compensation. Much has been done for platform workers and low-wage workers. The freelancer community should, too should be paid fairly based on their skills, contributions and track records. Today, many of them are often the price takers. They are hesitant in adjusting their contract rates even when there are valid reasons to do so, such as rising business costs. When contracts are up, there's often the fear of losing contracts to the lowest bidder should they charge higher. They face constraints even with uh, clients such as those in public agencies like MOE, People's Association or Health Promotion Boards, as the client staff may find it hard to seek approvals for rate hikes mid-contract because of their already approved fixed budgets and the need for additional paperwork to get approvals for adjustments. I urge MOM to facilitate the development of a procurement guide to ensure a sustainable win-win arrangement and fair compensation for the freelancer community, starting with the public sector clients. Two, access to resources. Many freelance instructors and coaches face limited access to resources such as class facilities, equipment or training materials. Uplifting them can include providing them with greater access to sports or school facilities or through government grants. Lastly, recognition and professional development. Freelancers too need lifelong learning and support to ensure they remain relevant and competitive. So curate and provide local and overseas professional development opportunities to help them stay updated with the latest developments in their industries.